Despite a couple weeks of rain and flooding throughout much of the Corn Belt, corn plantings in the latest week forged on to reach 71% completion. This compares to 47% the previous week and is now back on pace with the five-year average of 70%. Corn emergence was up to 31% in the latest report, doubling progress from the week prior. Still, emergence is behind both year-ago progress and the five-year average. Soybean plantings are up to 32% complete, right on target with the five-year average. Soybean emergence was reported for the first time this season at 8%. This is nearly on par with both the five-year average and year-ago progress of 9%. All but three of the 18 primary production states reported emergence in the latest week. For continued updates on the 2017 growing season, subscribers should click on the news link in Comtel. Next up, poultry market reporter Terrence Wells brings us the latest analysis from the turkey market. 2008 still holds the record for the greatest turkey production year ever. 2016 came close but ultimately fell short by about 4%. This year, a clearly defined trend in slaughter has emerged and although not forecast to exceed 2008, it is presently on course to achieve significant heights. The latest 2017 USDA RTC turkey slaughter estimate is 6.12 billion pounds, just below the 2008 record of 6.2 billion. This year the near record forecast will be fulfilled through heavier turkeys and fewer of them. So far during 2017 an average, an average of 4,093 turkeys are being slaughtered weekly at an average weight of 31.95 pounds. Thanks Terrence. Now with a few highlights from the USDA's LDP report here's beef market reporter Gary Morrison. According to the Livestock, Dairy and Poultry Outlook report the USDA forecasts a 2.3% growth in U.S. beef production in 2018, based on larger 2016 and expected 2017 calf crops that are projected to support increases in cattle placements in late 2017 and early 2018. Marketings of fed cattle are expected to be higher during 2018, supporting higher slaughter during the year, while carcass weights are also expected to increase. For more on this and other news, subscribers should click on the news link in Comtel. Thanks, Gary. That concludes our show for today. Thanks for watching, and be sure to head over to the News tab in Comtel for a comprehensive look at the latest market and industry news. Today's video is sponsored by Epsano's Market Insight for the Meat Industry, providing information, education, and insight for the beef, pork, and poultry industries. View a sample report at Epsano.com or call 800-932-0617 to get your free sample today.